Hello fat fans, welcome to BC World Guards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you're new to the channel, click the like and subscribe button right now, man. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, click that damn like button right now. I'll be on the spot now, big. So, the unified heavyweight king of the whole universe. People will say, what? He just lost to Andreas Jr. Where well, that was not the Joshua I know. He lost to Andreas Jr. In my opinion, in a very unweird fashion, but this book said anything can happen. But he will definitely reclaim his belts back. I've seen some turn around, some people bashing a guy, some water fanboys making videos all about Joshua. <laughs> I love the Japanese man. You just waste your time because at the end of the day, he's still the biggest name in the sport of boxing. Do you do you saw how he came to America and you know what he did with America? He took over. That's what he did. So that the arena, and that's something water can never achieve. And Ruiz Jr. In as much as I respect a guy a lot, he can never be a U star and the Joshua man. Never. You know what I mean? So that's just a fact. If Joshua gets out of boxing or decides to retire in the future, the NBA division will not be the same because there are not enough cash cows right there in a division. Without Joshua's name, I mean, what excitement are you going to get? But as a boxing fan, how myself, I'm going to actually cover all the fights anyway. You know, I mean, definitely because as a boxer man, I cover all fights and talk about all fights. So let's discuss about what actually happened that night before Joshua went in into the ring. Listen, you could tell Joshua ring work was very dull one. I mean, he didn't look happy like he usually does when he fight in the UK. He didn't look confident. He just looked normal. And that's not a Joshua that we all know so we saw that after the bout after the stoppage by the referee was that a bad stoppage mm, i think it was a little bit but it was a little bit because joshua we know has the 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 energy to come back and do damage in any fight you know what i mean i mean when he got knocked down by let me at go i never thought he could recover but he recovered so joshua would have actually done the same because Virginia does not punch out of the Vladimir Klitschko. Never. And Virginia can never be as dominant as Vladimir Klitschko. Never. That's just the fact, man. Virginia came with a game plan, exercises, fought a Joshua that actually had, that actually was in his half game, not hey game, not B, not B, not B game, not C game, not D game, half game. Okay, that means Joshua was not motivated. Joshua didn't even want to be there. Joshua gassed out already in the a, a second round, was already breathing hard in the first round. Like, what the hell is that? Joshua's face was like bruised up. I mean, Joshua, something was just wrong. You, you, can, you can tell. If you know about a lot about Joshua, if you've seen the guy fight before, you understand that. So, but that's not the topic right now. We're going to often talk about, about that, man. So, the unified heavyweight king of the universe and then Joshua you know lost to Andrew Jr. in a very I mean unexpected way and then Richard Joshua the father of Andrew Joshua went in on Eddie Hearn you can see right here look at them until Joshua actually stepped in to save the day I mean and according to what I've heard now, you know, I had to investigate. According to what I've heard, Richard Joshua, before Joshua even stepped in the ring, Richard Joshua that night had some mixed feelings about what was going on. He saw that Joshua was not his, himself. Actually, Richard Joshua lived in, in Nigeria, you know, listen to Nigeria now. And he's been to every, if not all, of Joshua fights, man. He just felt that Joshua was not in a right sense, in the right state of mind 
and try to confirm Eddie hearing about that man and told Joshua hey don't do it you know what I mean but Joshua as a father wants to go out and Eddie Hearn kind of perjured it and say well you're gonna disgrace the fans disgrace yourself if you don't go out there you understand that's what I'm hearing so far I don't know how true it is but uh, my ears are very much open and I'm definitely connected when it comes to you know having some whisperers you know what I mean so some whisperers actually told me that who were there and also Nandrians were there as well you know what I mean so to support uh, the unified way king of the universe man and we saw this in the ring after the bout was stopped there's a reason why you can see Adam Smith here Adam Smith at the back here staring at it because he knows what's going on <laughs> we don't know what's going on I mean at the end of Matron Mantra Boxing do I should I blame him uh, for not listening to what uh, Richard Joshua had to say I cannot blame him you know at the end of Matron Boxing had all the confidence that on the confidence that Joshua will beat <clears throat> and you know I myself I thought that was a very tough fight of course a tough fight was a tough fight you know what I mean but I never imagined that Andrew Jr. who wasn't ever able to knock out Rafael Zubano love I mean we get back we get to that <laughs> the, the reason why I'm telling you that Ruiz Jr. we not rule for more than two years in fact Ruiz Jr. if he gets a against Tyson Fury he's gonna get get outbossed outclassed and outmandled Joshua was not in a Z game. I keep saying it and I'm I'm going to just say it. I'm gonna wait for rematch. Then you'll see what I'm talking about. So all of you guys who are counting Joshua out right now should start counting him out, counting him out, counting counting him out. Start doing that. It helps because when Joshua do does the rematch in the UK and win that bout. I know all of you guys who turn the back on the Unified Heavyweight King. He's going to become a two-time Unified Heavyweight Champion of the whole Gundam Universe. You know what I mean? So, I'm not just saying it out of confidence. I'm saying it because I know what's going to happen. Joshua will not come in, in his F game again against uh, uh, Regina. He's going to come on his A plus game. So... Should I mean Richard Joshua be you know upset that his son lost? Of course, he should be upset, but for him to confront Eddie Hain of Matro Boston, that's just that, that's why you have to know that something went on. And what I've been told so far is what actually went on, and that's how it is. I mean, a lot of people wrote me before about that. Hey, Joshua doesn't look himself, what's happening? He got bruised up inspiring. We heard that Joshua actually got bruised up inspiring. I even talked about this. I did a video about this as well. And people were saying, well, this this uh, listen, Joshua was not himself. You know, back in Miami, he was himself. When he went to Miami, he was himself. Well, after he got to New York, something just went wrong there, man. Press conference, you know, the way he given uh, Rose Jr. his belts. I mean, it, it just felt like he had the bout and then he had to train hard or work hard. And also, what was the strategy from Rob McCracken? Listen, I love Rob McCracken. Rob McCracken, that's his name. But I feel like they had no alternative. But I can also understand that Rizzino was a late replacement, so you don't actually expect to train for him because you need. You know, more than five weeks to train for a championship uh, bout, you know what I mean? So, well, 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 I mean, right now, the mood is actually down for a lot of people, including the people that support Joshua, including people that don't even know much about Joshua, man. And uh, America has the belts right now, man. So I think they should be happy. But it's not going to be long. Because that rematch must happen and it must happen in the UK. Joshua is not gonna fight in Mexico. Okay? That's in your water's dream, you can get that. 
you're gonna fight Joshua in his own sword. You came okay, in. Let that happen there. And we really see if that was, in my opinion, I still think that was a fluke anyway. So, but I've got a lot of videos, like I said, coming in. Coming in so, give your thoughts below, like the video, share, and please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, go follow me on Instagram at BoxingBlockSetter and as well on Twitter at BoxingBlock. Follow me as well on Facebook at BoxingBlockSetter, guys. DM me, write me, talk shit about me on Every opinion matters, man. Stay blessed.